Today, I want to show you how to use Tiny Tasks, a simple program that can allow you to automate repetitive tasks on the computer. Tiny Task is a free program available from the website, link in the video description. You can download it here. The nice thing about this program is that it's portable, so it doesn't need any type of administrator privileges to install. Once you download Tiny Task, this is what it looks like. You'll open the program, and all it will be will be this small window with six buttons on it. One is open, save, record, play, executable, and preferences. Before using Tiny Tasks, I recommend changing a few of the preferences. Go to preferences, go to playback hotkey, and set that to F8 or something similar. This allows you to use a button on the keyboard to stop the Tiny Task application. Another option you have in here is always on top, because if you notice, if I click away, it disappears behind the window. Maybe you don't want that to happen. You can go in here to preferences, do always on top, and wherever I click, Tiny Task will remain on top of all the other windows. I just want to show a few examples of different things you can do, but how you use Tiny Task is entirely depends on the task you need to automate. The first example I want to do is automate deleting these layers down here. I could go one at a time, but I can do it once and then let the computer do the rest. So I'll hit record on Tiny Task. Click on the layer and delete, and then I have the pop-up dialog, and I'll say yes. And then I do that once, and then I'll turn off the tiny task recording. So now I have several other layers. I could hit play, and that will repeat the task. So another thing you can do is have it repeat an action. So if you need to repeat the same task over and over, for example, I want to delete all four of these layers. Instead of doing that four times, I can go up here to preferences and playback loop and say I want to do that same action four times. So I'll hit OK and then I'll hit play. And what it will do is it will just loop that same set of actions four times. It will move at the speed that you click. So if you click slowly through your task, it will of course click slowly because it's just copying what you do. If a button on the screen moves, Tiny Task of course won't work because it doesn't know what that button does because it's merely clicking on an area of the screen. I'm gonna to go to my documents folder. If you have a task that you do regularly all the time and all the buttons will be in the same place, you could do something like this. I'll just hit record. Create a new folder, name project. Okay, okay, that wasn't too bad. But if you do that over and over and over again, or you just want to automate the same thing and you don't want to, have to think about it too hard, you can use Tiny Tasks to do that. I'll go ahead and just hit play. And the nice thing is it will record your typing too. So if you need to type something, the same thing over and over, it can also do that as well. A couple of other options we have in Tiny Task Preferences is Continuous Loop. That will run the loop continuously until you tell it to stop. So that's Tiny Task, a simple program to automate repetitive clicking on the computer. Hope that was helpful. Have a nice day.